So this is the new segment that I've been talking about, kind of the new show that I've been wanting to do. Uh, for now, it's going to be pre-recorded. At some point, the plan is to do a live show. Um, we'll just have to see how that gets worked out. But uh, anyway, this is another opportunity for you all to suggest topics that we can discuss. Um, also, if somebody out there wants to come on and discuss topics with us, um, I would entertain that idea. So leave a comment below the video or vapingtrucker01 at gmail.com. Okay. So uh, let's take a look at this week's episode. So how y'all doing this morning? Oh, great. I'm I'm fantastic, Michael. You're always fantastic, Tam. I've never heard you. I try. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, you don't hear me in private. Oh my gosh, no. So, but no, I'm I'm great. I'm great today. My internet is down, and I'm waiting for a new modem box. And it was supposed to come yesterday, so now it's not coming till Monday. But that is okay because I'm using my phone. So this is the first time I'm having to use my phone as a video camera. So this is a new experience for me, but I'm still fantastic. <laughs> That's good. What, uh, what are you vaping on, Tam? Um, well, I am still vaping on some Thriller and Vanilla cornbread pudding and, and another one. I don't know where my big bottle went. Some peach. It's the peach one shot from Adore E Liquid. Pure peach. Pure peach, yeah. That is some pure peach from Adore E Liquid, and I love. Oh my gosh, I love that stuff. I I I love peaches. You know that. Still haven't got on the Adore train. Me neither. <laughs> mm -hmm. What uh, What are you vaping on, Aaron? Um, it's called Courtney's Irish Cream. Um, it's like an Irish custard with bourbon in it. It's pretty cool. good. Cool. Okay, so the reason why we're here today, I guess, uh, you know, especially for somebody like me that's got a limited amount of space, uh, I need to use all of my flavors. Um, whatever I don't use, I need to get rid of. But before I start chucking flavors, I'm trying to figure out a way, like a lot of times I'll just forget that I've got a flavor. Uh, I'll get a new strawberry and that's what I use and I forget about sweet strawberry or uh, strawberry ripe or whatever and they just sit there, which makes no sense. Uh, so I wanted to kind of talk with you all uh, what are some ways that people can like utilize those older concentrates more that they don't, uh, that they just forget that they got? Right. Well, here's something that I do on, well, I hate to say that I do it monthly because I don't, that would be a big lie. But I say every two to three, three months, well, okay, so maybe I do it monthly per flavor house. That would be a good synopsis, maybe. So it's not like I'm going through my inventory for every single flavor house a month. I'm going through probably every flavor house. I mean, I'm going through one flavor house a month, probably, like alphabetizing it and putting it going against my inventory I have on ELR or all the flavors and a lot of times as I'm doing that I'm finding that I have a flavor that's not in the system or I have a flavor that perhaps I put in the system that I don't have and then I'm going oh my gosh I had no idea that I had this flavor and I've never used it and so sometimes what I'll do is I have like Oh, this is my return tray though, but I have trays like this, um, but some, but I have a couple of them and I have some little ones similar to this that are half the size. Um, and I'll put 
some flavors in those and like these are flavors I might want to use like that I should look at using in the next like week you know this next month because I've or I mean if you don't want to pull it out of your stash you could always just write a note but I lose my notes <laughs> <laughs> but you could do both pull it out and write a note because you might pull it out and be like why did I pull this out um because but that is something that I tend to do um, that helps me remember what I have or don't have. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I have this. I did this within a in Awara just last week. I'm going through the my Awara stash, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, I didn't even I forgot I had these flavors. And so now I'm working on a recipe with a couple of different flavors that I forgot that I had. So... Um, and that I really have never used much. So that's like a, some, a pointer that I guess I have is going through a vendor stash like once a month or every once in a while and just seeing what's there versus what you have in your all the flavors in ELR just to see what you forgot about. Because sometimes just looking at the flavor stash in ELR and all the flavors, you, you're just scanning it and you don't you're not seeing that flavor, but when you're picking it up in your hand and seeing it on the page too, you're actually like, oh yeah, this, like juicy pineapple or um, cherries and liqueur by Inaware. Like what the heck was I gonna do with that? Like why did I buy that? So let me try this out and see what I can do with that. Gotcha. Um, um, I myself, uh, I use these Tupperwares. Um, mm -hmm. All my 30 mils and 10 mils are in there. And as you can see, those are the Boston round, round bottles. Because like every flavor I have, I have five of those boxes. And then I have three boxes with, with these bottles that I refill the 30 mils with. Mm -hmm. Instead of having to use syringes and whatnot. Um, one thing that helps me in choosing, like I have this tub, it's all the flavors I've been using currently, and a lot of it's new stuff. But as I'm, instead of having them, you know, on a shelf, uh, easy to find, it's sort of hard to find this way. But as I'm going through things, I'm picking up flavors, and it's like, oh, wait, this strawberry might be better than, you know, strawberry ripe or. Mm -hmm think about using this uh, sweet cream um so i get a lot of inspiration that way just looking for my flavors uh, as i'm coming up with one right yeah that's why i wanted to have you on erin because uh, a couple weeks ago on your uh facebook live stream uh you were talking about how that when you're looking for stuff that you kind of run across stuff that you forgot uh it just constantly puts it in your head. Uh, so I thought that yeah. was a good idea. Uh, you know, I come up with two methods for me that, that well, three that typically work for me. One of them is what Aaron just said. Uh, you know, I've got to look through my bags to find what I'm actually looking for. Yeah. I run across flavors. I'm like, oh, I need to do something with that. Uh, but two of the easiest ways that I thought of was uh, I call it the fresh O3 method. Uh, you just reach up there and pick out a concentrate until you get one that you haven't used in a while. And then there you go. Then challenge yourself to make a recipe using that flavor. Um, and the other way is very simple. Uh, we can all do this. Uh, if you're on ELR or all the flavors, just go to the what can I make button yeah just start clicking the what can i make over and over again and looking through recipes until you find something that uses something that you remember oh hey i really like that and then maybe make that recipe or you know which would get you to mix other people's stuff um or no that's a good idea or just just use that recipe use that flavor for something um so yeah, I just, 
I hate things sitting around going to waste. I've got concentrates back here that I bought for something, and I can't tell you what I bought them for. Yeah, I I have went through concentrates, and, like, there's no way I'm going to use this. Like, I hate to call out, but, I mean, they don't make them anymore, so I will call it out. The one drop flavors, I think it was one drop or yep. um, that real flavors did I went ahead and boxed those up um I haven't got to the point where I threw them in the trash but I did <laughs> box them up because I I needed the space and I'm not going to use them so I boxed and them up why are you not going to use them because I did not enjoy the flavors really because some of them I kind of like Aaron do you have any of those not, not us. Uh, now, some of them I really like. I won't be reordering them, uh, but some of them I really like. Uh, I've got a peach recipe that'll be out probably next week. Uh, just the peaches and cream that you can put one peach. Uh, oh, that uses one of those? Yeah, yeah. It uses. The oh, well, I'm glad I still have them. I can mix it up. Yeah. Uh, that one drop. Awesome. The one drop peach, it's a pretty good peach to me. Um, it's just weak. And I think I use it. Well, that's the thing, is that they were weak, and there's so many other awesome peaches out there that can do what you want it to do without having to use 100 drops right, of right. one drop. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with that, but you, you know, I, you like know, you want to use it instead of waste it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, that's a good idea. So, and I know, I know that there's other people out there that bought them that just don't have to use for them or don't know what to do with them. Yeah. You know. Uh, no, that's a good idea. So. Uh, Maybe I'll, it's a recipe I love, and I can use it all up. Right. One down, 15 more to go. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, I also like using my own recipes. Um, if I want to make a donut, well, I made a donut three years ago. I can go back and look at that recipe and pick out what I like and substitute in the new, like, Wonder Flavors or Vape Train Flavors that I didn't right. have when I first created it. And that tends to work pretty well, too. Yeah, I've got yeah. I've got a recipe that, that I really love. Uh, it's a, I think it's caramel coffee cheesecake. Mm. Uh, but I love the recipe, but it's got like, I don't know, 13, 14 ingredients in it. So I, <laughs> so I, I never mix it. Uh, so I need to go back. You need it. Bed, using some new stuff. Yeah, a consolidator. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Pippa calls some of the new concentrates coming out. Right. Um, she calls them consolidators. Because <laughs> you can consolidate your recipe, take out two or three different ingredients using a consolidator, which I think is a genius word to call it, a consolidator. Right. Perfect. Right. So, Aaron, what's a, what's a flavor that you have that – you don't feel like that you use enough. Like you really want it, but you just forget about it. I'm sorry, I I didn't. What? What's a flavor that you have that you don't think that you use enough? Like you always go on to something else instead of using that. Um, probably Bavarian cream. Um, it's so versatile, but a lot of times I forget to use it and I leave it out. Um. But it is definitely a flavor I like. I just forget about it a lot of times when I'm using creamy milk undertones or something else. Right, right. Yeah, I haven't used uh, Bavarian cream in a long time. How about you, Tam? Um, there's been a couple lately that I've thought about and I've pulled back out. Um, and a couple of them being part of real flavors and that I used a lot last year and then I just quit using them altogether. And they have some really great flavors. Um, 
one being um, aged bourbon cream that I absolutely love in a bakery. Um, and I totally forgot about it. And so I pulled it back out a couple of weeks ago. And another one with them, it's just some of their bases that are, that you have to build on them. So it kind of adds up the concentrates, but they are a great starter for like butter pecan. They have one called butter pecan pie, I think it is. And I, ha I had a great recipe for that. And um, I just quit making it and I quit using it. And they have one that I wanted to try that I pulled out just the other day. Um, I don't think it was this. But one I used last week was Yumberry, which they have. And another one that I want to use is, um, oh, I had rice, put, put, I pulled out rice pudding that I had that I wanted to try. And another one was cherry pie. I heard it was good last year and I never used it and I want to try that. Um, so there's a good many set of real flavors that I haven't used. And then some that I used to use a lot. I used to enjoy their Bavarian cream. I thought it was it had a nice flavor. Like where where they're lacking some is with their te texture and, if you will, um, the 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 cool word. Um, they're very linear with their flavors, so you have to add some extra flavors to add that texture and. Um, oh my gosh, I forgot my favorite word. Okay, but anyway, add that extra variance in flavor, if you will. So, yeah, I, I, go I ahead. I've quite a few wonderful, uh, real flavors, and mm -hmm. the only one I used is that aged bourbon cream. Um, oh, it's, oh my gosh. I forget, I used it yesterday, and I pour it, and I smell it. I'm like, I can drink this. It smells so good. <laughs> And their uh, it's just their strawberry. I love their strawberry, just because it's yeah. Good. And their watermelon wasn't bad. Really? I mean, I you have to add. I, yeah, you have to add to it. Uh, you got any real flavors, Eric? Yeah, I got quite a few. Um, I do have the strawberry and the watermelon. Mm -hmm. um, sugar cookie, the lemon cookie. Yeah, I ha I have to, that whole wire shelf right over there in the corner, the wire one, next to the wooden, oh gosh, over the wooden bookshelf, yeah. over the wooden bookshelf, gotcha. that's all real flavors. No kidding, well you've got one or two. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I got a couple. They were selling them real cheap at one time. Yeah, like 10 cents, well <laughs> over a year and a half ago they were giving away like those big they were like 60 ounce bottles, just about. Nice. Um, uh, they did that whole deal where they were, uh, if you paid the shipping. Yeah, and then they turned around and turned it all into 10 mil bottles and they were selling them for, for free and then for 10 cents a bottle. But I didn't go crazy like some people and get like 10 of each. Because, I mean, how am I going to use all that? <laughs> I just wanted to try a little bit of these. So I have some that I've never even touched. I it's do. just ridiculous. I do. Too. Yeah. And that's, like I said, that's kind of what got me started down this path. Um, yeah, yeah. And then what's really cool, yesterday I noticed um, Jen Jarvis put out a recipe for a new blue raspberry. I don't know the name of it. Um, but it's a blue raspberry recipe and it has some coolant in it, but it's using like two or three wonder flavors. Um, and I pulled them out cause I'm going to mix it cause I have all the ingredients. One was the, the black raspberry and the blue ras, the blue ras, and then it has the wonder flavors. It has real flavors. Wait, what it? Two or three real flavors and a wonder flavors, and uh, it just has a lot of different ingredients. And I was like, "Wow, I haven't used things. I want to mix this up." So whenever I see someone's recipe and it's got ingredients that I haven't that I have and I haven't mixed it with, I want to mix that up because I want to see what that I want to use them. Do 
do you think have you tried their taffy base i do <gasps> i have it but i haven't tried it in a while i, I think tried I did multiple in times and i never got taffy off of it at all yeah i think their um drink oh, I, drink flavors are the best and but their soda base, if you can get their soda base, that is really good. You're you're not gonna be like get that amazing fizz flavor, but at two percent, you're gonna get that illusion that you do have a fizz in your mouth with soda base. Right and two percent. Uh, not below, not over two percent. <laughs> now that is more of a gives you like a lemon lime flavor like if you just taste that all by itself I no it has no taste that has no taste. no taste no taste soda base from real flavor super concentrate has no taste hmm. no taste and ludicrous. it gives you a little what that is ludicrous it is lemon lime i'm telling you no it's not i promise that's fizzy sherbert i promise <laughs> if it has a taste, it's very slight. It's nothing like fizzy sherbet from um, Vape Train. Well, but I, it, think, I think when I tested it, I think I mixed it at like four and a half or five percent. Well, there you go. I, I just said two percent. <laughs> if you go lower than that, you're not going to get anything from it. You go higher than that, it's going to explode because it's <laughs> <amazing>. <laughs> You go higher than two, it, you probably will get off notes because I'm just telling you 2% magic number. Alrighty. Believe so, me. I put it up here. 2%. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Well, anybody got anything else on this topic? Just keep mixing and have fun with it. And be good to everybody and have fun. Keep mixing recipes. And that's really all I have. Where can people find you, Tam? Oh, Tam Vapes on Instagram, ELR, and all the flavors. And I hang out in Discord. I'm Tam Vapes. And I'm in DIY Down Under. I'm an admin there. And on the Facebook group and you can also find me Saturday night, 7 p.m. U.S. Eastern Standard Time. We have a show mixing with me mates and also on Sunday at 2 p.m. U.S. Eastern Standard Time with um, Daytime Frank called Mixing in the Kitchen. Yeah, Mixing in the Kitchen. Did I, I probably just said that all wrong, but I think it's... <laughs> So I apologize. Mixing in the kitchen with Daytime Frank, yes. And Mary Beth's on there, Moose, Daytime Frank, um, sometimes um, Demented76, Courtney. Um, so, yeah, you can find me diff all different places. Alrighty, how about you, Aaron? Um, mostly on DIY Down Under um, as Aaron A. Rant. Um, on Instagram, it's Morning Star Vapors, and I quit using ATF, but the recipes I've made are still on there. Um, I'm Dank One on there, and Dank One on ELR. I'm putting everything on ELR now. Cool. Uh, and what time is your show? That's on Wednesday evenings, right? Yeah, interactive. Yeah. Mixing, it's basically the same time frame as Mixing With Me Mates. It'd be 7 o'clock Eastern Standard or 10 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard. All right, in the DIY Down Under Facebook group. Right, it's, it's only private. I don't put it on YouTube or anything. Right, right. All right, well, I appreciate y'all sitting down and doing this. Oh, thanks for having me. Thank you, thank you.